Yeah, yeah, I believe that we are really right there. Uh, that is uh, here at uh, Counter Mathematics. Yeah, thank you so much for everyone who have uh, joined us at today's session. Yeah, you are so much welcome here at uh, Counter Mathematics. And uh, definitely, uh, we've always known that uh, this is the place where we get to uh, advance our mathematics skills, we get to learn mathematics. And uh, definitely we get to uh, not only learn it, but also to learn it in a more fun, in a more enjoyable way. Uh, so as we start, I'd love to uh, to recognize the first uh, the first few people who have joined us. Uh, so if you are here with us, you can uh, uh, let us know where you are joining us from, yeah, your name and uh, the name of your school. And uh, that will be really so awesome as we uh, really kick off with the session of the day. Yeah, so you can just make use of the live chat option uh, that is um, right there for you. Yeah, you just write your name, your school, and uh, possibly where you're joining us from. And then we will uh, really be able to kick off with the session. And uh, feel so, so much welcome here. Yeah, the home that we get to continue uh, adding into our toolkit. You know, it is a toolkit that we are working on. And that toolkit is... Um, now hot out the regard to as uh, the mathematics skills yeah i know that each and every profession each and every work yeah and uh, each and every duty that a person does there is that toolkit that they use yeah for instance a doctor there are things they use like um i don't know needles and uh, so on maybe to uh, to cut across someone's body to uh, do operations on a human body farmers they use uh, uh, those things like a djembe and so on. Yeah, and here in mathematics there are some tools that we use and that is uh, definitely a calculator, a pen, a piece of cake, a uh, piece of paper and so on. And uh, those are the things that I want you to get and I want you to have them so that as we uh, kick off we are able to move together. And I want us to make this uh, lesson uh, as engaging as possible. Yeah, so that we are able to do things together yeah don't just uh, sit there as, um, and uh, don't just sit there as if it's a movie that you're watching yeah i want you to be part of it yeah so that you are able to learn more from the session uh, so as we kick off um i can see that we've uh, got a number of you who have already joined us yeah we will be here for only one hour so i'll be a bit more Weekly, um, I can see that we've got uh, Sandra from uh, Mary Hill Girls. I can see Daniela from uh, Teresa Nusa. I can see uh, Brian from Kobala Mixed. I can see you, Lidsey from uh, Mary Hill. I can see Liki Protich from uh, Capset Boys and Gacha from Kabianga High School. I can see Bunny's Mary Hill, and I can see. Uh, the high school right there being represented by Peter Kims. Um, another person from Teresa Nuzo, Masin uh, I can see Eugene from Nyangori High, uh, St. Anyorites Gatanga, I can see you, Wangari. Yeah, and many others, yeah, including uh, Ian from Mukuni, Maxir from Yakolele. Yeah, I will continue recognizing you as uh, we move on. You can just type in there in the live chat. Yeah. And uh, that will be really so awesome. Yeah, for the new people who could be joining us for the first time uh, here at uh, Countess Mathematics, yeah, in our lessons, what we usually do is that, um, yeah, we usually uh, cover a number of questions, and those questions uh, usually take the approach of uh, contest questions and uh, mathematics questions so that we are able to uh, keep uh, building on our skills so that we are able to yeah keep advancing in our skills yeah and that uh, will be awesome for us uh so for the session of the day as we kick off what i'll be doing is that um i'll be giving you a few questions uh, that is uh the questions that will be really commensurate to the time that we have and then after you uh, work out a question you type in your answer and then we are able to work it out together yeah the reason i'll be giving you some time to work on the question is so that we can be able to test how good you are in a certain question and then we can then work it out together and that is exactly what we're going to do 
right now and i believe that you are ready if you don't have a pen make sure that you really have it yeah make sure that you are really able to uh, grab it uh, run for it uh, so that you are able to move together remember that uh, we said that uh, yeah the only way to run uh, to learn mathematics is by doing it so we don't learn by watching we learn by doing it so get a pen get a piece of paper yeah get a calculator yeah i'll also be getting mine yeah very soon as we move on and i believe that you've uh, come across the questions that are are uh, right here on your screen i don't know if you are really able to see that yeah i believe that this is a question that you may have come across it because we've uh, uh, really shared it with you i believe that you had uh, somehow made an attempt for it and also uh, there's another one over there yeah and a number of, a number of questions that we've uh, really been sharing with you and uh, for this i think this one is one of the questions that uh uh, yeah was uh, highly attempted by many people and uh, i don't know which solution you people were getting but i believe that uh, most of you were really able to get it right and uh, really get it correctly yeah uh, so uh, what you will do is that uh, some of these questions that we've already given to you uh, we might not cover them in this lesson yeah so that we are really able to maximize uh, the time that we have and also so that we are also give, uh, able to give you some questions that you can uh, have some time to ponder on so that you also have some time to work on your own uh, for today I intend us to cover five questions and uh, uh, those five questions are really meant to prepare you for the upcoming uh, mathematics contest that is uh, definitely happening on uh, 22nd of August yeah because yeah the questions that we shall cover today are the kind of questions that are usually tested so they are very important and make sure that you do really take them so seriously um uh, i believe that you guys are ready if you are ready you can uh, let me know there in the live chat option yeah so that you are able to be engaging as possible and i believe if you are ready we can uh, now be able to move into our first question of the day and uh, it is uh, right there if you can be able to see it and that uh, it reads as follows and uh, that is uh, I suppose that um, x and y are non-zero uh, real numbers such that x over 3 is equals to y squared and uh, x over 9 is equals to 9y then you are required to find the value of x plus y i believe that that is uh, quite a fair question to us and i believe that it is something that we can be able to attempt yeah and get it right so i'll give you some seconds i'm going to give you 180 seconds and then after the 180 seconds i'm going to come back here once again and uh, then we'll be able to tackle the question together with you but for now i want to give you the uh, 180 seconds that is uh, exactly three minutes then i'll be back here so that we do it together with you and uh your three minutes uh, starts right now
I believe that we are really right there. I don't know if you've uh, gotten any attempts or I don't know if uh, there's anyone who have uh, uh, made an attempt or rather a correct attempt over there. Uh, but I can see uh, quite some responses over there. But I believe that um, everyone has uh, really gotten a chance to make an attempt um, in on the question. And uh, just to check on a few, I can see quite a number of responses over there. Um, uh, yeah, I can see someone by the name Ian Mungei getting X plus 27Y. Uh, I can see Harrison Mudoga getting 2214. Uh, boom, get, getting Y is equals to 24. Uh, someone getting 27, 27, 4, 2214. 1742 272 yeah i can see that the answers that we are getting yeah they are quite differing and uh, what we are going to do is that we are going to work out together if you never got it uh, don't worry this is the reason that we are here and uh, if you got it right it is as well good to follow the method that we are going to use you might have used a different method yeah and uh, each and everything is usually a learning process yeah and each and every time is usually a learning time so let us uh, go out to the question and uh, I'll try to figure it out together uh, because I can see that you've uh, uh, we have it right here with us and that is uh, I suppose that uh, X and uh, let me have this right here uh, suppose that x and y are none zero so x and y should not be zero so that is the first thing that we are supposed to note out and uh, we are given two conditions that x over 3 must be equal to y squared and uh, x over 9 must be equal to 9y squared so we are supposed to find the value of x plus y uh, so the first thing that I tried to check if uh, there is any kind of pattern over here or whether we've got some similar terms over here. What I can see is that we've got an x and x and a 3 and a 9 which are multiples of 3. Yeah, so we try to brainstorm it out together. But uh, again, the idea that comes into my mind is uh, uh, to make this number a little bit linear or to make it uh, somehow friendly to our, to our eyes because it's something, it's kind of a fraction and the only way to do that is uh, to multiply each and every si side by 3 and uh, that is what we are going to do x over 3 is equals to y squared so we multiply by 3 uh, on the left and the right side and uh, once we do that we get that x is equals to 3y squared uh, remember whatever you do to I uh, mean your first uh, kid you also do to the second kid because they are all yours uh, so we go to the second part of it um, uh, uh, we pick uh, this one we multiply by 9 on each and every side and that gives us that x is equals to 9 times 9 that is 81y I believe that is what we are getting and uh, once we have these we can uh, see something friendly to us yeah, because we can see that we've got some similar terms and that is uh, if we look at here we've got an x and also we've got an x so because these are uh, these two are equal that is x and x then that implies that 3y and uh, a, uh, th that is 3y squared is also the same as uh, 81y and that is what we are going to equate and see what we are going to get that is 3y squared is equals to 81y uh, so from here I believe that we can be able to uh, make these uh, fellas a little bit more simpler and uh, what we do is by dividing by 3y we can divide by 3y so uh, this 3 we divide by 3 we get a 1 and a, one square, a y squared divide by y we definitely get a y um, uh, for the right side this y we divide it by y to get a 1 Finally, we remain with uh, 81 divided by 3. Uh, someone should uh, uh, really give me a confirmation whether 81 divided by 3 is uh, because you have 3 by 2 uh, because of 6, then 2, 1, we get a 7. So, 81 divided by 3 is 27. 
Ah, oh, but now we want to have the value of uh, y of x because we've already gotten the value of uh, y. So, but we know that uh, from this equation that uh, x is equals to 81y. So, what that tells us is that uh, x is equals to 81 multiplied by 27. So, for this one, I believe we can be able to really get the value of that if you are having a calculator you can help me to work out that uh, from uh, my end I'm getting is I'm getting it as a 2187 um, and finally we now go to the final rather the the yeah to the final part of the question and we see what the question was asking about um, the question was asking us about find the value of x plus y so x plus y uh, we get it by uh, taking our x 2187 uh, then we are going to add uh, this fella that is y which is 27 and uh, what that is going to give us i <coughs> i bet that you can be able to work out that and that is giving me 2214 yeah 2214 and uh, once you do that, you are really able to get all your marks, all your full marks. And uh, I don't know if uh, there's anybody who, who had gotten that right. Yeah, I can see Sandra Ochiri, you had gotten it right. And uh, I don't know if there's anyone. Yeah, Eliza, 2214, that's awesome, together with Lily Noah. And uh, Daniela Njuguna together with Ki uh, Liki Protich. Um, Pagba, I can see you got it right. Uh, Brian Ongos, you got it right. Yeah. Uh, George Mboro, you got it right. Uh, that is encouraging. Harrison Mudoga, you got it right. Yeah. Uh, if you didn't get it right, I believe that you've uh, seen how it's supposed to be done and how you were supposed to uh, really work it. Uh, work it out yeah I believe that you've uh, been able to follow through the solution of the question yeah uh, someone is asking whether this is the first question yeah this is the first question that we are tackling for today and uh, today we are going to tackle only five questions and uh, we are supposed to be done by 8.40 and uh, or rather 8.45 we are supposed to be done with the five questions so I believe that that was uh, quite a awesome question to us and I believe that we are uh, really uh, ready to uh, move on to our next question uh, that is our question two yeah and uh, I believe that we are ready if you are ready we can uh, just pop in uh, into it and uh, we have it right there and uh, that is uh, given that uh, uh, root 2x plus y uh, plus root x squared minus y is equals to 0 then we are supposed to find uh, the values of y minus x so once we get the value of y minus x then uh, we've uh, completed doing the question so I want to give you again um, uh, some few seconds that is exactly 180 seconds if you get an answer to that then you post it in the live chat option so and uh, I believe that you are ready and we can uh, start out our timer out and uh, if we are ready I believe we can start right now
Oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. I believe we are uh, really right there. I believe that you've uh, had some time to make the attempts. Yeah, I'm really trying to load your, your attempts. I don't know if I'm really able to get them. Let me see if I can be able to access them. Yeah, but I believe that was uh, really a nice question for us. Uh, that is, uh, it was a nice question to really try to brainstorm on. Yeah, so as I wait to have your, your responses coming to my end, yeah, I believe that we can uh, be working on it. Yeah, so that I also get to recognize the people who have uh, made some attempts yeah, and the people who have uh, really tried to work out the question. Yeah, I don't know if... Um, yeah, I, I really ought to have your responses, but uh, I, I think they are... I don't know why I'm missing to see them. However, I can ju just try to check it from from another end yeah so that i'm really able to have them though i can see that uh, there are some people who have really attempted i can see sabrin more george mboro uh sabrin more uh kasim ian mungei yeah though, though i know that there are a number of responses that you've put uh though uh i don't know if uh, i don't know why i'm not able to see all of them yeah, but I, I believe that they will uh, really appear to me in uh, possibly in a minute or something. Yeah, but uh, possibly as I really get to wait for that, uh, we can be diving into the question and uh, we can try to brainstorm the question together. I don't know how you, I mean, I don't know which criteria you used or which method you used to work it out. yeah yeah if you had uh if you had chatted your answer kindly chat it back yeah because now now it's the time that now i'm now able to start uh, seeing your responses so you can uh, retype your answer again you can retype your solution that you got yeah so that i'm really able to see it and i'm able to see uh the the attempts that we've uh, had yeah kindly do do retype your attempts in the live chat option so that we are really able to move together and that we are really able to move together as a as a team yeah i can see abigail you have retyped 19 uh brian ongus you've uh, retyped 19 uh savage yuba 19 luke 19 humphrey kamau 19 uh, Sabrin Mo, Y is equals to 9 and so on. So let us uh, dive into the question so that we don't spend a lot of time. And uh, I'm just trying to make sure that we are really at par all of us. I hope that you don't really mind that. Uh, so we can work out the question together. And uh, that is, uh, we are given uh, some two parts of uh, the question. And that is... Uh, root 2x plus y yeah and also we are given the other part is uh, root x minus y is equals to zero and then we are supposed to just find the value of y minus x and uh, once we get that then i believe that we are really done with the question and uh, that is what i want us to do and actually uh, this question had uh, only one trick and that is uh, what can you find or rather uh, what's the root of a certain number that you can add to the root of another number and then it gives you a zero so that is uh, basically what it was asking you and uh, by simply brainstorming the maximum number or rather the largest number that you can get uh, from the square root of a number the maximum number that you can get is a zero because uh let's say like at the root of a very big of a big number like a hundred it's uh it's going to give you a 10 and uh, uh because we had been given that uh let's go back to this um yeah we have it right like that and also for this one the maximum uh, uh root of a number the maximum solution you can get from the root of a number is also a zero so that implies that this number 
uh, uh, ought to be a zero and also this uh, whole solution for this ought to be a zero so that you are able to get that zero plus a zero is equals to a zero and uh, once you know that I believe that you've uh, already solved the question because now it's a matter of just uh, forming uh, an equation and solving and getting uh, your solution right so we have that uh, root uh, 2x plus y is equals to 0 and uh, root of uh, x squared uh, minus 9 is equals to a 0 and I believe that we've really gotten this concept uh, because you cannot find the root of a number and then you you get uh, a negative or anything you you just get uh, this number which is a positive over here and the maximum number that we can get is a zero uh, so for this uh, this tells us that once we square on each and every side we get that 2x plus y is equals to zero on the right side we get that x squared I mean minus 9 uh, is equals to zero so for this one we can uh, work it out and uh, I believe that once we uh, we take negative 9 to the other side we get x squared is equals to 9 and uh, we can find the square root once we find the square root is uh, x is equals to 3 and uh, now for this side we had 2x plus y and uh, now I believe that we've got uh, uh, the value for x already which is 3 so we just have to replace it with 2 then we've got a plus y is equals to a 0 and uh, what this is giving us is that 6 uh, plus y is equals to 0 so y is equals to negative 6 yeah I believe that we are really at par uh, so that essentially means that uh, y is equals to negative 6 and uh, x is equals to 3 and uh, what this is going to give us uh, here is that uh, x plus y is equals to 3 minus 6 and that is going to give us a negative 3 so that is uh, uh, solution 1 and uh, for this case uh, remember that once you find the square root of uh, of uh, 9 you can also get uh, 3 or negative 3 uh, so this one also uh, we can uh, have the first x this is x1 as 3 and uh, our x2 as a negative 3 and uh, what this is going to give us is that uh, x uh, this was uh, x1 so we have uh, x2 as negative 3 and uh, once you come to this equation over here that is 2x plus y uh, you replace x with a uh, negative 3 and uh, we can work it out to see what we are going to get x negative 3 then plus y is equals to 0 so that means that negative 6 plus y is equals to 0 and finally we get that y is equals to 6 so for y2 we are getting at 6 so that means that uh, x2 plus y2 we are going to have it as uh, negative 3 then plus 6 and uh, I believe that uh, this is like 6 minus 3 which is 3 so the solution for that is uh, negative 3 or 3 I don't know which answer we are getting in the in the solutions that we are having I can see that uh, yeah most of the people we are getting a 19 uh, I would uh, really seek to uh, I mean to get uh, to know why we are getting a 19 uh, because I can see almost all attempts are 19, 19, 19, 19. Uh, well, but uh, uh, that is uh, really awesome because we made an attempt. Uh, though I can see there is someone who got a uh, negative 3. And uh, this is uh, really encouraging. Uh, that is by George Mboro. Yeah, you can just tell us the... Uh, your name as you type your answer and also the name of your school so that you are able to uh, see uh, the people who are really participating and uh, the people who are really engaging uh, I like to see uh, do, do you have another correct answer yeah if we didn't have uh, I believe that uh, we've gotten to learn how it was uh, really supposed to be done 
and uh, that is uh, really so awesome to us and that is uh, very good so i believe that we can uh, uh, really be able to uh, move on with uh, our next question uh, that is uh, our question three for the day and i can and i can see that time is uh, really moving so i'll uh, try to be a little bit faster so that we are really able to finish in time as uh, we had uh, outlined that we are supposed to finish by uh, 20.45 hours, that is uh, 8.45 p.m. So I believe we can be able to move on to our question three. And uh, I believe that question three, we are having it ready. We are getting it there on the screen in just uh, a few a few seconds and uh, it will be really popping up over there for you. Yeah. Uh, th this is good. Yeah, Mark Humphrey, I can say you are from Vika High School. Uh, that is abundant life. That is really so awesome. Yeah, congratulations for getting it right. Yeah, we have question three over there. I believe that this is also another question that we can uh, really be able to brainstorm very quickly. And uh, we have it right there on our screen. And that is, I uh, uh, suppose that uh, X and Y are two real numbers uh, that satisfy the conditions that uh, x y is equals to six and uh, x squared y plus x y squared plus x plus y is equals to 63 and then given that information you are supposed to find the value of x squared plus y squared so remember if you are here and you get scared by a sum don't worry at all we are here to learn we are here to get to brainstorm together and that is the actually the only reason that we are here to learn uh, so and uh, the only way that we learn is uh, by attempting and by doing it so i want to give you 180 seconds uh, that is uh, exactly three minutes then after the three uh, minutes i'm going to get back here uh, so that we are really able to get or rather to work out the question so but once you get the solution of the question just type it there in the live chat option so that we are really able to know the people who are really following through and uh, your time starts now
so I can see that, uh, time is up uh, though I don't know if you've got uh, any correct attempts or generally any attempts um, uh, from my end I cannot see anyone who have uh, really made an attempt but I can see uh, one person who have made an attempt uh, so that then it uh, it begs the fact that uh, possibly we needed to have some more time uh, which I think it's uh, something that we should uh, give a little consideration though at the same time we have to really try to uh, move, move with a little bit speed because we say that uh, in mathematics we get to test two things uh, number one is your accuracy and also the second thing is your speed so accuracy and speed matters so I'm going to add you some 40 seconds then after the 40 seconds then that is when we are going to now start or rather to work out the question together so you've got uh, tw uh, 40 seconds you yeah, to uh, complete attempting the question then from there we are able to work it out together Time is up, uh, so I believe that we are really uh, right there and uh, we've gotten e enough time uh, to go through the question, to have a look at it, yeah, to read through it and uh, to understand what, is ask, uh, what it is asking about and uh, possibly some time to make an attempt, I uh, mean for the question. Uh, so I can see that uh, this time round we've got uh, quite a number of attempts over there. Yeah, remember as you type your attempt, you can uh, uh, type your name, your school, and also your school. Yeah, which will be really good. Uh, I'm on a city bugo. I can see you though. I don't see your school over there. A uh, little boss. I believe that's not your official name. You can type your name over there. Mwana city bugo. I can see an attempt. Peter Kim's uh, 68.92. Charlene 13, uh, Brian Ongus 13, uh, Genoa Maida 68.92, Pagb, uh, Kasim, uh, Daniela Njuguna. Let us type our names. I can see Grace Kuria, Daniel, Daniela Njuguna, uh, Jacowino. Yeah, I can see uh, quite a number of good attempts. And uh, that is... Uh, Quite encouraging, Harrison Mudoga, the Kahai. Yeah, let us type our schools. Oh, I didn't know that, Pag, you are from uh, Sheikh Khalifa. It's good that I'm uh, getting to learn because I've uh, been seeing you uh, being active, which is uh, uh, really recommendable. Uh, so I want to go into the solution of the question. Yeah, because I can see from my end, uh, we've got uh, only 21 minutes, then we end the session. 
uh, Sabrin, I can see your attempts. Grace Korea, you too, I can see your attempts. Uh, so uh, we can go into the question and try to brainstorm it together. Yeah, I've actually. Yeah, yeah, let me have a look at it. I don't know if uh, everything is uh, really all right from my side. Yeah, I'm really trying to have my things on. Yeah, that is awesome. Uh, so we have the question that uh, suppose that uh, x and y are two real numbers. So we have to know that x and y, they are real numbers. And uh, they satisfy uh, the two conditions that x, y is equals to y. And uh, all this is equals to 63. And what you are supposed to find is the value of x, x squared plus y squared. Uh, so for here I can see that... Uh, uh, this fellow over here, he's a very simple guy. He looks quite basic. He isn't looking so complicated. But once we come to this over here, this one is the one that is uh, having a lot of terms and a lot of things. So, so since this one is uh, so basic and uh, we cannot do so much to it, but uh, for this one, because it have got a lot of sections, I believe that we can be able to do at least something to it. And uh, that is what I want us to do. We can be able to operate on it a little bit. Yeah, we said we also do operation on numbers the same way that uh, doctors do operations on humans. So we are going to operate on this number, on this equation, and see what it is going to give us. And see whether it is even going to produce some juice or uh, some lovely stuff over there. Uh, so what we do is that we, when we look at this number, uh, there's something that we can uh, be able to see, and that is uh, it have got four entries, four entries. So we can, uh, uh, that is one, two, uh, three, four, four entries. We can try to divide them into two, and that is uh, how the first one and the second one over there. Then we try to work on them independently. So for this uh, fellows over here we can try to compare them and once we compare them we can see an x over here an x over here and a y and a y over here so we can bring these similar terms together and see what we are going to get and uh, once we put out x y what we call in mathematics uh factorizing so once we factor out x y uh, we don't say uh, putting out we say factorizing so once we factor out x y we get x uh, plus uh, then we have x y squared divided by x y we get a y then that is done for the first one uh, we go to the second part of it uh, we've got an x we don't have an x here we've got a y we don't have a y here so what is common between these two uh, is a one so the only thing we can factor out is a one because we know that uh, one is a number that uh, when you multiply it by any any number, you just remain with that number. For this one, for uh, because I believe that we know how about factorization, yeah, we know that uh, uh, to put this together, we just pick x y. Then we add this one, uh, the one that is here. Then we put it together, and then remember that we've got an x plus y, and uh, remember that we've got uh, is equals to sixty three. Uh, so once we have these, uh, we can uh, we can see that we can see something that is familiar to us. This guy over here, x plus y, is a uh, is a stranger to us because we don't know who he is, and uh, we don't know his value or her value. Uh, but uh, we know the value of x y because we have been given here, and that makes our work easier. So we are going to pick that x y is equal to six. And uh, we are going to replace him here because we know him. And uh, because we know him, we are going to welcome him to our house and we lock him inside there. Then we've got another bracket, x plus y is equal to 63. So 6 plus 1 is equal to 7 into brackets x plus y is equal to 63. Someone should help me to divide 63 by 7. Is that... 867 uh, that is uh, 63 divided by 7 that should give us a 9 actually it is a 9 so because 
uh, we know that uh, 9 goes 7 times so that we get 63 so 9 so once we divide by 7 uh, once we divide by 7 each and every side we remain with uh, x plus y is equals to 9 so things are getting better things are getting simpler and uh, things are starting to work out on our side which is uh, something that we should be really happy about we've got x plus y is equals to 9 and also we've got our x y is equals to 6 so we try what can we do with this uh, number so that we get x y the only way that we can get an x y out of this number is by squaring it so we square it and uh, once we square it we get an x squared plus y squared plus 2 x y by the way, if you don't know how to open up these brackets, don't worry. Uh, we shall send you a video on how to open up those brackets, so don't worry. You'll be right sorted on that. But uh, once you open this, you get x squared plus y squared plus 2xy is equals to. Then we square on the other side to get 81. I believe things are good for us because we know that... Uh, yeah, we don't know x, x squared, we don't know y squared, so we leave it like that because we don't know it. And uh, we continue minding our own business and uh, we go to the value uh, whose uh, number we know, and that is x, y. So we do plus 2, and uh, we know that x, y, x, y is right here, which is a 6, so we write a 6 uh, is equals to 81. And finally, we know that uh, x squared plus y squared is equals to we know that uh, to get the value of this we just take uh, this number to the other side to get 81 minus 2 times 6 is uh, 12 and uh, what this is going to give us is uh, 81 minus 12 i don't know if we are able to calculate that 81 minus 12 that is giving me a 69 yeah um i'm getting it right i don't know if my Casa is having it, yeah, we write there, 69, and uh, that is what is giving us the value for x squared plus y squared, and uh, once you have that one, uh, you get it right, yeah, because that was uh, the required solution for you. I don't know if we had some people getting it right, maybe I can just check it, the solutions that we had uh, really given in. Yeah, I had seen Mona City giving us a 69.09 together with uh, Peter Kim 68.92, Charlene 13, uh, Jane Wamaida 68.92. I can see quite a number of are uh, revolving around that, uh, which is encouraging together with uh, uh, Daniela Jogona 60.6, uh, Jackie 69.41, Grace Korea 27. Uh, Pro Prodigy 69.0 Harrison from Dika High School 69.38 Yeah, uh, Little Boss, could you kindly just type in your your actual name? Uh, you are getting 54 um, uh, And a uh, number of attempts there, uh, many of them Yeah, I can see Kisumu High 69.08 That is uh, Kasim Yeah, I can see yeah, and Jogona 81. I can see Luke 69.09. Yeah, this is encouraging because we've uh, had a lot of at, a lot of attempts over there, uh, including uh, JK uh, 70.601824 uh, from Miranda High School, and that is quite encouraging and that is quite good that you've uh, really gotten to attempt the question, and that is. Uh, actually the way to go and uh, that is uh, really really so some for us yeah if you never got it right i believe that you've uh, been able to uh, find out how the question was uh, really supposed to be done yeah and uh, for the people we are getting 69 point, uh, point something i hope that you yeah i know that you may have been right but uh, the method that you used may might have uh, given you some uh, small errors so it is also good to uh, look at the methods that will give you answers directly yeah some methods might also be correct but uh, they might be long and uh, they might be longer and uh, they might uh, give you some uh, yeah yeah so some approximations that are 
out of the bound of the answers to be marked with. But uh, having uh, that, uh, Daniel said, I believe that we can uh, be able to move on to our next question. And that is uh, question four. That is uh, the second last question because now I can see we are only have 13 minutes, then we end the session. Uh, so for our next question, uh, that is uh, question four. I believe that it is being projected over there in our on our screen and uh, I believe that we are ready for it if you are ready we can uh, really dive into it and uh, I believe that we have it right there on our screen and that is uh, uh, quite an awesome question that is uh, a math class has uh, 40 students enrolled uh, the average of the uh, final exam is uh, 70 and uh, we are given that uh, uh, the four lowest scores were 12, 24, 26 and 38. What is the average of the other 36 students? So I believe that is uh, uh, quite an awesome question for us, a question that is good for our practice and I believe that it is a question that we can be able to solve. So I'm going to again give you uh, three minutes and uh, I'm not going to add more time because because this is a, a more fair question to us. Uh, so after the three minutes, yeah, I'm going to come back here again so that we are really able to work out the question together. And uh, that will be really good for our practice. Uh, so your time starts now.
amazing. I can see that uh, our time is uh, really up and uh, I can see that the question was uh, quite very easy for us. I believe that it was uh, a walkover to us and uh, that shows that we've uh, uh, been doing an awesome job that is in practicing and also in uh, doing uh, some mathematics questions. Uh, so that is uh, quite good for, uh, for us because I can see that you've got quite a number of attempts. However, I've, uh, I'm being reminded that uh, uh, there are some people who could uh, not be knowing how to use the live chat. Uh, so I would wish to make sure that we are all at par because I know that we have some people who are joining us for the first time uh, who could uh, be really wondering because I've seen, I've seen a text over here. Yeah, there's someone who is uh, replying via a text, you know, when we say that we are using the live chat, we mean that we are replying uh, just beneath the YouTube video. And uh, this is where we uh, we get to make a replay for the purposes of the uh, people who could be joining us for the first time. Uh, you know, for the video that you are watching right now, if I could uh, really be able to get it right here with me, yeah, it is uh, this one over here. That is uh, the mathematics lesson one. Uh, that is uh, 11th Countess Mathematics Preparation. Let me mute it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So that is the video that you are watching. And now the, the live chat is this part. However, for the people who are using a smartphone or yeah, a phone, it is usually below this part. It is... Uh, in this in this line that is uh like and uh yeah this oh i can see we are 62 of us but uh, uh the people who have uh, given an arrow on these are uh, nine so let us give it uh, a thumbs up uh, by liking up the video then once we have 30 then we are able to really kick off so that you also uh, get to see how many people are engaging how many people are following yeah, if you can hear my voice, uh, let us give it a like over there. Then we are really able to move out together. I mean, to move out all together. Yeah, I can see that we are really 60 of us. Yeah, yeah, it is awesome because it usually shows us the number of people who are engaging, the number of people who are active. Yeah, I can see that we are already at 11 but we are 60 of us yeah give it a like give it a thumbs up over there and that would uh, uh, really mean a lot i uh, can see we are already 12 13 yeah let us uh, continue yeah with the same spirit we are 15 yeah five more to 2016 yeah let us do faster then we move on uh, time is uh, is uh, really getting up uh, we have uh, that is 15 but in the session we are 60 yeah, give it a like over there and uh, uh, come to see again how how much uh, I mean uh, how many likes have accumulated over there I can see we are 16 it's 16 yeah four more people we can uh, 17 uh, that's good congratulations yeah three more people yeah yeah we can have uh, three more people yeah it's uh yeah 18 two more people now 18 18 19 one one more person yeah who is that who is going to make it to 20 we have it as uh at 19 uh awesome 21 excellent wonderful job i can see that uh we are really in really engaging uh, which is uh, very very so awesome and very very good so i believe that now we can now be able to move on uh, with the question that we have yeah i can see that we've uh, surpassed 20 that is uh, encouraging so we get back to the business that is the question of the day and that is question four i believe that the question was uh, quite very easy for us and uh, if i could uh, just have a look at the at the live chat very quickly and uh, very briefly because I can see that the number of attempts are quite uh, quite many which is uh, very good and uh, for the first time I'm getting like a 98 percent of the people have given a similar question email Dawanyonyi Kenya Hi Terry 75 Sheikh Khalifa 
that is Khadija 75, Safia from St. Brigid, uh, that is giving us a 75. Uh, Min Amal from Sheikh Khalifa, 75. Nyambari, uh, that is Humphrey, giving us 75. Yeah, a number of you, Chalin, 75. Uh, Masela uh, from uh, Chania Gas, getting a 75. Uh, Ngacha from Kabiaga, 75. Uh, that is good, Abby girl from Kenya High. That is good, Elvis. I can see you, Wanyonyi, uh, Wakonyo, uh, Jackie Owino. I can see Ezekiel Juma. Yeah, and all of you, and that is uh, very good. Yeah, we can uh, dive into the solution of the question. Uh, then once we do that, then we move on uh, to our last question of the day. So we get into this, and uh, we have it right here with us. And that is uh, uh, a math class has uh, 40 students enrolled. Uh, the average of their final exam is that. Yeah, I believe that we, uh, because I can see it's like almost everybody knows. However, for the purposes of uh, clearing out doubts for maybe anyone who could uh, be in doubt or maybe copied the answer of another uh, person or maybe uh yeah 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 generally for clearing out the dots you can just do it very quickly uh because uh we need to try to finish up in time so we have a math class as 40 students so the students are are 40. Uh, so we can have the students uh, so we have the students and uh, we've got their average uh, so the students are 40 and uh, are 40 students enrolled the average of their final exam is 70 um, that, that color is also good so, so what else can we deduce from this from this we can deduce the total marks so the total marks for this is uh, uh, 40 times 70 that is uh, 4 times 7 28 then you've got 0 0 and uh, we are told that the four lowest scores are uh, we are 12 24 26 and 38 so uh, we can sum this is uh, for four students that is uh, uh, one two three four that is four so this is for uh, for four students and uh, they are total marks so for average we don't really need to calculate that because uh, we might not really need it however for the uh, total marks we just have to add 12 plus 24 plus 26 plus 38 and um, once we add this 24 plus 26 that is 50 and uh, 12 plus 38 that is 50 50 plus 50 that is 100 so their total marks is 100 and um, so uh, the remaining students will be 40 minus 4 that is uh, 36 and um, their remaining marks uh, the marks for these 36 students will be 2800 minus 100 which is 2700 and now to get the average uh, which we are being asked there we take this the max 2700 then we divide by 36 and uh, then once we divide that 2700 divided by 36 I need to uh, do that division. I believe I have my calculator that is giving me a uh, 75. Hey, and uh, you guys got it? Yeah, I can see that uh, almost all of you got it. So once you have that, you get all your full marks. So I can see almost uh, each and every person who attempted the question got it right, and uh, that is uh, really so 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 good of you yeah uh there's someone who is saying that uh that is brian Nongus. uh he's saying that uh, uh this program should be done daily that is on daily basis i don't know how many people agree with that <laughs> um uh, though for the uh for, for obvious reasons we we only have it some sometimes that is uh uh like uh four days or rather four sessions per holiday but uh, uh with that recommendation we shall find out on how we can be able to increase and uh, have many and uh more lessons running out 
uh, throughout, which is uh, very good. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm uh, really loving it that you are uh, really enjoying the session. Yeah, and uh, actually for those who might not be in our WhatsApp forum, uh, we've got a WhatsApp forum for various students from different schools. Yeah, you can always reach out to us. Yeah, I don't know if uh, there is uh, uh, any any person from the counter mathematics board uh, on the wall. He or she can type uh, maybe uh, one of our numbers over there. Yeah, so that uh, if anybody want, wants to reach out to us, they can uh, really be able to reach out to us. However, as we end the session, we shall be giving you a link on how you can be able to enroll into the program and how you can be able to be joining in. However, for the people who might not be in our wall, you can uh, uh, just reach out to us using uh, one of that uh, that contact that is uh, there on your screen and uh, we'll be able to add you. Yeah, you just send uh, your name, uh, yeah, your name and your school, then you'll be able to allocate you to, uh, to a group that you are able to join in so that you don't miss some practice questions, so that you don't miss such lessons yeah and so on yeah yeah after the session you can contact that number and then we will uh, uh really be able to take care of that and that will be really so good yeah so we move on with uh with our questions and uh now we are diving into our last question of the day and uh i believe that we are ready for it and this is now the last question uh, that will be tackling and I believe that uh, it is the most easiest question and uh, yeah I believe that we are ready if you are ready you can uh, pick up your pen and then we do it or rather you you first make an attempt and we have it right there with you on your screen and that is uh, given that uh, if uh, 20x plus 16y is equals to 2016 and uh, 16x plus 20y is equals to 1620 what is the value of uh, x plus y so you can give it an attempt then i'll be back here in 180 seconds so that we are uh, really able to try out or rather to work out the question together and uh, that will be really so some for our practice and uh, your time uh, to attempt the question starts right now
Uh, great, great. That is uh, really awesome. Uh, we are almost coming to uh, I mean to the end of the session and uh, this was an amazing question to us and I can see that we've uh, already gotten some attempts and uh, this is uh, really good. Uh, maybe to recognize the first few attempts and as you make an attempt it's good that you get to indicate the name of your school so that you are able to keep track of which school is uh, is more active yeah and i can see that uh a prodigy i don't know if that's the correct pronunciation of your name you are getting it as a uh, 101 i can see mona city wilson kanyuri you are making an attempt of uh, 101 farida jepchumba that is uh fadia owino peter kims uh, luke imelda wanyonyi from kenya high school yeah Evelyn uh, Kanyika uh, that is uh, Terry Terry from Kenya High uh, and I can see Josephine Wakonyo Mada that is uh, from St. Annual right I can see Wangari from St. Annual right I can see someone over there Sandra Ochiri uh, that is uh, from Mary Hill uh, and a uh, number of you Charlene Kenya High uh, JK from uh, Miranda yeah I don't know if you've got uh, any member here from uh, CMAA um, I don't know if you've got uh, anyone from uh, the Contrasy Mathematics Alumni if you are there you can um, uh, maybe chat over there so that you are able to recognize you yeah but uh, uh, for this question we can uh, have a quick look at it and uh, I believe that we have it right here on our screen and that is uh, definitely 20x plus 16y is equals to 2016 and uh, 16x plus uh, 20y is equals to 1620 what is uh, x plus y uh, so this question I uh, it's uh, uh, looking very so awesome because we can see that you've got a 20 uh, 20 over here again you've got a 16 you've got a 16 uh, again on the second one we've got a 16, a 16, a 20 and a 20 we've got 20, 16, this one is alternated as 16, 20 we've got 20, 16, here it is alternated at 16, 20 yeah but uh, all that was uh, just to try to play around with your mind and uh, that was uh, just there to to just play around with your mind and I can see most of you have uh, been able to play with the question the uh, the question has not played you so because you've uh, been able to defeat it and uh, you've uh, been able to identify the trap and uh, you've uh, been able to come out of it which is uh, very very awesome so we have it as the uh, 20x plus uh, 16y um, we can have it uh, here 20x plus 16y is equals to 2016 so we have 16x oh it is x yeah plus 20y is equals to 1620 that is good so for these fellas you can see that th that this is 20 and 16 we've got 20 and 16 so that tells us that uh, if we could add these fellas over here uh, I mean these ones uh, these ones over here we are going to get the same sum as this one over here and uh, that is what we are going to do we are going to add them then we see what we get 20 plus 16 that is uh, 36x plus 16 plus 20 that is six, uh, 36 y and uh, is equals to then we add this other side 16 plus 20 that is 36 and 20 plus 16 that is 36 so this one is going to give us 36 36 hey uh, that is uh, so we even say that uh, mathematics is uh, also like a poet because you can see some rhyming in numbers over there some repetition in numbers some patterns and uh, that is why you say that uh, mathematics is also uh, very fun and also it is also a game uh, so uh, we get to this so we have 36 and 36 
and 36 and 36 and 36 so that means that 36 is common to all since it is common to all we can factor it out x plus y is equals to we can factor out this we can factor out 36 once we factor out 36 we get 36 here we get a 101 so that is 101 with this we can divide by 36 divide by 36 and uh, we get that x plus y is equals to 101 i don't know which method you used i don't know whether you used this method but uh, whichever method you used i believe that you were uh, getting something to do with uh, 101 and i can see uh, that uh, sorry for that i can see that uh, a number of you have uh, really gotten that which is uh, very very good yeah maybe i don't know if uh, yeah i can see almost all, all of you got that right yeah terry from kenya high and abigail from kenya high can see you got it right and uh, kasim from kisumu high uh safia from uh, st bridget's you you are getting 101 which is good yeah others i can see you've uh, not typed in the name of your school but i can see uh daisy from st right uh you you made uh, an, an attempt over there uh there is a monica nyaboy from o o l m o l m uh, yeah i'm not so sure whether i know the full name for that school uh, but it's good that you are representing them very well and i can see my nawangari uh, for east i believe that that is uh centennial right if um i'm not wrong <laughs> i can see humphrey kamau is saying that uh that they used another method uh which i don't know which which method that is but i would uh, i really love to know to know it however yeah we've got always different ways of uh of killing a, a rat is it a rat or a cat <laughs> whichever that animal is but uh, there are always uh, many ways of killing it including burning the house yeah you can burn the house so that you kill the the cat or the rat yeah but uh, what that essentially tells us is that uh, we've got different ways of doing something yeah provided that we end up in the same destination in the same place and uh provided that we arrive safely then that is good and that is uh, very so awesome and that is good and uh i believe that you loved the questions yeah because uh, today i didn't want us to cover a lot of questions today because today is our lesson one and also i didn't want us to uh, cover uh, maybe complex questions that may seem complex to us i want us i wanted us just to have like uh, an an introductory an introductory uh, lesson today then from there we'll be having more lessons as time goes by uh tomorrow i believe we should be having a session at 7 30 p.m and also on tuesday and wednesday yeah uh, for the other days it is going to be communicated in our different walls and uh, you said for the people who are not in the wall you can always contact us uh, using that number that is uh, right there on your screen and then we will uh, really be able to to add you to the forum and that will be really so awesome so i'll be looking forward to see you uh joining us at the forums and uh, i believe that uh, all of you have uh, already registered for the upcoming mother contest because actually uh, the reason that we are having this session is uh, is so that we get to practice uh, for the contest so I believe that you are continuing to make use of the materials that we are uh, really sharing with you uh, in different uh, forums uh, because we've been sharing with you some uh, daily practice materials uh, so make, uh, make, uh, make sure that you uh, really make use of them and that will be really good and uh, that will be really amazing so for now what i'll say is that uh actually don't want to extend much but for the people who have not registered make sure that you register as soon as possible so that you don't get locked out yeah make sure you do register before the deadline i can see someone is saying that uh 
Um, that is uh, uh, what is that? I I missed it. I forgot my password. I forgot my password. There's someone that is saying that uh, they forgot their password. Let me show you how you can uh, be able to get your password back in a second. Um, uh, uh, I don't know if you've got any inputs from from your sides over here. I'm trying. Um, that is uh, Jackie Owino. Yeah, you can be able to reset your password. And uh, there is a recommendation that has been given there by Daniela Njoguna that you can uh, create or rather make a new account. That is good. And uh, that is awesome. Yeah, you can also make a new account. However, uh, yeah, so this is how you do it. As also, this is how you also get to register for the contest. Let me show you in just a second. Um, so we said that the site that we are going to use is... Uh, countersimathematics.co.ke so that is the site that you are going to use and uh, I believe that it is uh, coming up over there uh, I happen to be have opened a lot of tabs but it's alright uh, so once you go into countersimathematics.co.ke and make sure that you uh, really spell it very correctly you'll get uh, to uh, to this wall over here and uh, th this is the landing page that you get into and uh, you can see that you've got uh, quite a number of uh, of headers over there we've got home blog services contact teachers corner login so the part that you as a student will be much interested on is uh, login but before i come into that let me just slide a little bit down for you Yeah, you can also use this option to register yourself as a student. Uh, but uh, because I know most of you love shortcuts, I'll, I'll just be getting up to the shortcut very, very, very shortly. But uh, I want to clarify something over here. So this is where you'll be getting the, the schedule. The schedule uh, for the whole week, it will always be updated in the website because now this is um, now our official website. So once you slide down into this part that is uh, where we've got uh, the upcoming activities that is when uh, you'll also you'll always be able to see i mean the activities that are running out like today it is on uh, it is on tuesday we can see that you're supposed to have a, a live on i mean uh, a lesson one then tomorrow lesson two and uh, that's the lesson three for this lesson over here that one is for Friday. Um, uh, we we shall give a clear uh, outline whether it is going to happen or whether it is not going to happen. Uh, we might uh, discard it. However, uh, the orientation for Monday is still there. The contest date is uh, still there on 22nd of August. And uh, the applications for certificate, it is still there. And make sure that you really uh, get this certificate because the only way to show uh, the only way to show that you participated in the contest is uh, by you having the co uh, the contest certificate which is uh, usually very awesome and it is, it is uh, something that you can be able to present in different places that you go and uh, finally we shall uh, wrap it up together on friday that is uh, at uh, at 7 30 to 8 45 pm and that is when you'll be having the powerful mathematics talk and this is uh, one of the best sessions that I believe that you'll ever come across because it is uh, a session that has been prepared designed for you specifically as a high school student so that you are able to learn three component things which uh, I believe that uh, once my post over here I don't know if I can really be able to access it right now yeah it's coming up that but i uh, will be having a very powerful session that is uh, being done as a combination between uh, accountancy mathematics and also uh, another organization based from uh, south africa that is uh, being represented by someone from pretoria university who will be co-hosting the session uh, which is uh, happening from 7 pm to 9 pm you can contact uh, one of those contacts that is either Jennifer or Johnson uh, through those contact details over there and also you can also be able to reach out to us at Countersy Mathematics through 
the number that is there at the footer. So the session was supposed to cost 2000 uh, but uh, we really labored a lot and uh, we really pushed it uh, down as much as we could and finally uh, some good news for you is that we were able to bring it all the way down up to shillings 4.99 only so to secure your spot and uh, to make sure that you don't miss uh, the opportunity make sure that you just use the lipa 9 pesa till number 8055980 and uh, you make the payment of 4.99 so that you are able to be included in that program where we'll be uh, talking about the real maths now about how you connect mathematics uh, mathematics with the real life about how you can uh, improve in mathematics instantly how you can be crashing in mathematics uh, like um, like like it's something that is so easy for you how you can make it a walkover and also i'll be speaking about poisonous mistakes that destroy students mistakes uh, but uh, that was not my main concern for the day my main concern is uh, this part login so once you go to login that's where you'll be able to log in into the contest platform uh, you just enter the username that was sent to you and also the password that uh, that was uh, really uh, given to you by Contest Mathematics. If you don't have uh, either username or a password, you can always create an account for yourself. And uh, you can check uh, through the previous session that we had on how you can be able to create an account. But uh, just to tell you is that uh, there are a lot of materials that have already been added there for you. So make sure that you really go to the session and uh, you really make use of they are really more most of them especially this part make sure that you do some tests that are there they are there just to help you to continue improving in your mathematics and uh, also as you get to prepare for the contest so as i finish up if you've uh, if you've got uh, maybe any any remarks or maybe any comment you can just put it there and then i'll be able to read out and then from there i'll be able to finish up the session and uh, then we'll be able to have the session wrapped up and uh, then we'll we'll then have to have another session uh tomorrow at the same time but uh, as you can see we've got uh, a number of materials over there for you so make sure you uh, make sure that you make use of them because they have uh, uh, been placed over there for you uh, for now i say uh, goodbye and uh, it is so awesome for you for having joining us in this session i really uh, get to see you in uh, in our tomorrow's session so but for now i just have to end the session however i'll just check if there's uh, any inputs uh, that would uh, really require yeah there's someone who is saying that uh, they forgot their password that is uh, Jack Owino uh, Jack Owino you can uh, you can uh, reach out to us uh, through through the number that is uh, that is uh, really placed over there yeah and I uh, will be able to help you out I don't know I don't think there's uh, any burning issue from your side um, that is Daniela saying that looking forward to the next sessions and uh, uh, Mafia Des uh, Despa I would uh, really you know I would, I would really love to know your real name uh, that is saying uh, that is uh, legendary which is uh, very good um, uh, someone is asking how much is the registration you know to participate in the contest and uh, to do the contest and uh, to register for the contest it is uh, purely it is purely free of charge however for the people who want to get the certificates of uh, registration or participation that is uh, only when that you really get to pay shillings 199 only and also now for the session that we'll be having for 499 um uh, so you can create a new account i believe that that has been sorted out and also you can contact us you'll be able to reset your uh your password i don't understand the input being made by faraji uh, saying that uh, the results are 
spot on ni kwa kama uh, I don't really get you um, how will be the contest done uh, the contest you can check the session for yesterday we explained everything about how you are going to do the contest yeah I believe that would uh, really serve you well uh, for now it has uh, uh, been really amazing having you uh, really on board and uh, um uh, i'll be having now the the second session tomorrow that is uh, the second session out of the four sessions so uh tomorrow make sure that you really make use of the practice questions that will be sent to you and also the the daily challenges the daily challenges quizzes that will also be sent to you make sure that you make use of them because they will be very good uh, uh they'll be very good in your in your practice uh, so for now i'll say goodbye and uh, i will uh, really get to see you tomorrow have uh, have yourselves uh no some evening and uh god bless you i see you tomorrow and uh bye bye